What's going on everyone? My name is Skiz. Today I'm going to show you how to transfer paint from a normal spray paint can, a 400 milliliter or 600 milliliter in this case spray paint can, to a smaller spray paint can without a mixing ball. This method will work for any two spray paint cans that are both female valve systems, but it can also actually work for male valve system cans as well, so I will show you how to do that. So first, before you actually begin the transfer, I just want to include a couple things that you should do to prevent having to troubleshoot. One, make sure both of the valve systems of each can are totally clear and are able to spray paint the way they should before you start. You don't want any valves clogging while you're doing this. Also, a second thing, and this is sort of a little more optional, what you can do to lower the pressure of the can you're trying to transfer paint into is turn it upside down and spray a little bit. This releases some of the air that's in the can and lowers the pressure of the actual can and helps it accept the paint coming from the bigger can that you're transferring from. I have seen that you can also freeze cans to lower their pressure before you transfer paint into them. That method, I don't know, I don't like playing with temperatures of pressurized valve systems personally, but apparently that method works as well. So I'll get into this method now and show you how exactly it works. But keep in mind though, this method works not only for transferring paint between cans, but also if you want to mix colors, so that's another use for this. But basically what you want to do is you'll need a couple tools for this. All of them are very cheap. I have links in the description to this as well as this, which I will explain. This is a needle cap. It comes obviously with sort of a spout there. And all you want to do is take, you need two of them, take the straw out of one of them and screw it in to the other like that. And that's going to be the mechanism that we use to transfer the paint here. You can also buy ones especially for this. I've found these actually a little bit better for transferring paint than the ones with the skinnier straws here. If you want to find some household items to do this with, WD-40 cans come with caps that have these little straws. They can also be used for this. So what you want to do first, screw this onto your smaller can that you want to transfer the paint to. And then secondly, screw this onto the can that we're transferring from. Now this requires a little bit of finesse, but all you do is first compress the can that you're going to transfer paint to. Compress that, and then you can hear the sound, you can hear the paint going in, and if you look close, you can actually see the gold paint traveling into the smaller can. I'll try and demonstrate that one more time, a little bit closer up for you. So I'm compressing this first, and then you can hear that noise. So after you're done filling it up, and I do want to say you just sort of have to stop every now and then and figure out how much paint you've put in there to see if it's full or not. But after you finish, you can just put your straw back on each of these so you don't lose them. And I will say quickly, if you do have male valve spray paint cans, you can get one of these. This is a SECT cap adapter, S-E-K-T cap adapter is what it is. There's tons of different types, but basically this fits onto a male valve spray paint can. And then from there, you can pop any female cap on there and it'll work with that. If you do have two male cans that you're transferring paint between, there are transfer tools such as this that do male to male as well. Just to finish this off though, let's try this out. Make sure the paint actually went in. Gotta prove it to you guys, right? You can't see it particularly well, but I hope you can see the color difference is there. It's just chrome and a gold mixed together. They just sort of make like a dirtier chrome, basically. But that's the basic process. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. I'll try and help everyone out. Until my next one, peace.